untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another standard game to video. Today we're taking a look at a Sultai Color Trade Binder deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, featuring two copies of Zenithar Guild Kingpin, the 6 mana 5 6 legendary Beholder, saying at the beginning of our upkeep, choose target opponent until end of turn, that player cannot cast spells. We may look at the top card of their library at any time and place spells from the top of their library and spend mana as a third were mana of any color to cast them, so Zenithar can take control of the opponent and and we can potentially get some card advantage, and most importantly we can leave lands on top of the opponent's deck, so they're guaranteed to draw land for the turn, and they might be locked out by Xanathar if they cannot answer it. And then taking a look at the rest of the deck, it's a bit of a cacophony of powerful cards in the Sultai Colors. So at 1 mana we've got 1 copy of Blood Chief's Thirst as cheap interaction, at 2 mana we've got 2 copies of Flunk, as well as 2 copies of Power Word Kill as a nice mix of instant speed removal, and then the full playset of Cram Session to gain for life and learn, and of course in best of 1 we get a 7 card sideboard to grab lessons from, so we've got Environmental Sciences to get a land, Teachings as card draw if we're empty handed, Containment Breach to destroy artifacts or enchantments, Introduction to Prophecy as another cantrip, Introduction to Annihilation as expensive removal, Mascot Exhibition to give us a win condition, and Confront the Past to answer Planeswalkers or to get back our Professor Onyx from the graveyard. Then at 3 mana a singleton copy of Cosima, which can also provide card advantage once we put her on a voyage and put additional lands into play. We've got two copies of Divide by Zero as a versatile counter spell slash bound spell that can also help us learn. Two copies of Soul Shatter as more instant speed removal. You happen on a glade, can get back a permanent from our graveyard, or can help us find two basic lands. It doesn't ramp, but it does help hit our land drops and potentially fix our mana. Then at 4 mana we've got some heavy hitters, with a full playset of Quandrix Cultivator, a 3-4 that helps us ramp by grabbing a forest or an island. Full playset of Binding the Old Gods as removal that on the second chapter can find a forest. Importantly here, it doesn't find a basic forest, so we do have a singleton copy of Woodland Chasm and a Rhymewood Falls that the Binding can also search up, which basically means it can also fix our mana for blue or black. Then we've got a couple sweepers with two copies of Crippling Fear and two copies of Shadow's Verdict. Then a Baleful Mastery, so we could make the deck name work. And then two copies of the Desert Doom, a 5 mana 5-5 five, five legendary dragon with flying that has a ward 4 as long as it's untapped, so it's a very reliable blocker, and at some point we can turn it sideways, at which point it will provide some card advantage. And then topping off our curve, besides our two copies of Xenathar, we also have two copies of Professor Onyx, which can be used as removal, card advantage, and also as a win condition thanks to those Magecraft triggers, and our lesson package especially is very good at enabling Magecraft for us. And then going over the mana base, besides the Rhymewood Falls and Woodland Chasm, we also have a couple Snarls that make both colors. So we've got uh, Black Green and Blue Green Snarls, and then all 12 Pathways in our colors, as well as a couple Basic Lands, two Forests, four Swamps, and two Basic Islands. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Some early interaction, and then... Ramp into Professor Onyx. Turn one Reaper's Talisman. Opponent Black Green. And a Thief's Tools, that's a lot of equipment. Alright, we can Cram Session for now. And then I might want to get an Environmental Sciences to hit my land drop. Could also go for Introduction to Prophecy. But uh, I'm happy enough getting a basic land and gaining two. Vergoth is a demon which we cannot kill with Power Word Kill. So we'll have to binding it next turn maybe. Gets probably, let's see, I'll get a forest and then can grab an island with a cultivator if we want. Baragoth attacks. And our opponent can boast to find any card they want. 
put it on top of their deck. And a Rune of Mortality to give the Thief's Tools Death Touch. Okay. Could also Crippling Fear, but kind of like Binding. Although I guess Binding destroying the Thief's Tools might be even better. So sure, I can Crippling Fear instead of Cultivator here. And then the only right creature type to name is Crab. Can place this as a green source so we can cast a Cultivator. Aha, uh -huh, Serpent is a Death Touch tribal deck. Finn we can kill with Power Word Kill. So I can play Cultivator and then still cast my removal spell since the land we search comes into play untapped. And we want to get an island so we have double blue. No, this is perfect. And then do we kill Finn now? Yeah, probably. Binding destroys Cultivator. That's acceptable. And yeah, can probably run out a Professor Onyx here and start plussing. Xenothar is nice. Serpent will have to deal with a few big threats. We've got some cheap answers if needed. Second binding to be expected. Well, hopefully they don't have a third. Sentinels, fine. We'll gain Death Touch next turn. Although we can even kill it with Thirst here. Alright, hopefully they're out of answers. And we get to have some fun with Xenathar. It's gonna be another Varagoth. And a spare dagger. So if it attacks the uh, one damage from spare dagger plus death touch is a pretty neat combo. So they have a sentinel on top of their deck. I'm not upset if they draw sentinel, but we can maybe keep a land on top instead. So sure black mana's fine. Although can also use green. Alright, there's a land on top, so I'll keep the land even though I could play it so the opponent draws the land. And then now probably Professor Onyx minus and have a Professor Onyx in play. Attack for five. And then opponent's gonna draw land. And we basically wanna keep the opponent drawing lands for the rest of the game. Alright, they had a tie for that's their last card. Should be able to handle that pretty easily. And Varagoth on top of their deck. We'll play it. Another Tyvar. I guess I could play. If I play Tyvar, I can still Baleful Mastery for 2 mana. I mean, how bad is it if our opponent plays Tyvar? Let's plus with Professor Onyx first. And grab. Divide by zero is fine. Or I can go for Crime Session. I have impeccable study habits. Yeah, we have a lot of options here. Can't forget about the mana from Jaspera Sentinel. So I could play Tyvar and then still cast Baleful Mastery. Although it's going to be for two mana, so the opponent will draw from it. Nighthawk Scavenger on top. Yeah, let's see here. So this now also taps for black thanks to Tyvar. So what's next? 
opponent's going to draw Scavenger. Yeah, I mean, probably want to take out their Planeswalker. So their opponent's going to draw another Scavenger too. So double scavenger. Yeah, can still handle those pretty easily with binding and divide by zero. And they can only cast one of them since they only have double black. And the yeah, opponent has seen enough. I think we might be able to kill them next turn with the magecraft triggers as well. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a fine hand. We've got plenty of interaction. This can help us hit our land drops if needed, or maybe get back one of our win conditions later in the game. Sculptor. I could soul shatter. Doesn't seem necessary. Can maybe soul shatter whatever they ramp into if it doesn't die to the crippling fear. So our hand's not super exciting at the moment. Gotta hope to draw into some of our heavy hitters. Four four fractals just large enough to survive crippling fear. Another one. Alright. At least we can clean up all the small stuff now. Take four. Alright, and then flunk and finish off the larger one. I'm gonna send that one back. At least we still have a cultivator on defense. Bone gets fractal summoning, so that one's gonna be pretty large. Still gonna pull the trigger on Crippling Fear. Could attack first if I'm not planning to chump the 5 5. Although I'm sure they'll just take it here. If we don't draw anything next turn, I can maybe chump and then use. Uh, happen on a glade to get back our cultivator, since right now there's nothing to get back with it. Volo, okay. And then Biomathematician. Okay, Cram Session to the rescue. Can get Mascot Exhibition. I think that's the play. And then probably want an extra blue source.
Can maybe start chipping in with the inkling. Cultivator doesn't trigger Volo. Okay, takes out my 4 4. We'll be taking quite a beating here. Take 6. Now the Inkling has to stay back. And once Binding goes away, we can also get it back. Crippling Fear. Doesn't seem worth casting. Can name Inkling to kill the Biomathematician, basically. Yeah, maybe it is worth it. Although I still can't really afford to attack since a single removal spell would get me killed. Ah, Quandrix command. That's fine, so next turn I can get back Binding at the very least. And the game continues. At a precarious 3 life. Soul Shatter is a bit of insurance. Our last forest, so... Got a lot of action in the deck. And cram sessions, excellent. So I could soul shatter the sculpture so cram session can get a draw spell. Although I guess a draw spell still isn't gonna draw me three cards. But it's still a draw two. It's probably good enough. And we'll wait on the Soul Shatter. If they respond, I can Soul Shatter in response to make sure we have fewer cards in hand. So they might waste a card. Shadow's Verdict is an answer. And then uh, can hold Cram Session for next turn. would be a nice spot to find Xanathar. So, Prophecy. Alright, we've got plenty of spot removal. Volo we can answer. So which one do I use? Probably Flunk. Quandrix command. So they're gonna bounce their creature back. Yeah, I mean I can still kill the response.
They might have another Quandrix command. Nope. Uh oh, Hall of Storm Giants. Good thing we still have a Soul Shatter. We'll wait for that to attack. Do we have anything relevant left? I guess confront the past in case we top deck Professor Onyx later. Sure. Yeah, I want to draw one of our win condition seers, Zenithar, Professor Onyx, our dragon. Didn't think we have any lands left, maybe an island, yeah. So yeah, I still have Cosima. I guess Cosima's a reason to hold a couple lands too. Although now it's probably too late. Yeah, I mean we still have a lot of goodies left. Divide by zero. Doesn't learn for anything useful, but could be a fine uh, tempo play. I will start holding my lands for Kusima now. Emergent sequence. Yeah, this game is dragging out. We're failing to find a win condition. Although plenty of answers in hand now. Yeah, we were very close to dead at a certain point, but back up to 15 in the meantime. There we go, Desert Doom. Attack for five. Uh, sure, I'll still keep my lands. This sage is a bit bigger. Decisive denial. Probably mastery and response. Another one can bounce my own dragon. And then gets Annihilation. And our opponent concedes. Yeah, Desert Doom's gonna take over here on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. Our hand's a little on the slow side, but if we can find lands number four, we can ramp into our Desert Doom and Xanathar. Ideally, we still draw a land before having to make our decision on the pathways here. Because I want black for turn two power ward kill, potentially. Now for binding two. Although we do need a lot of green and blue mana to cast Cultivator. Barbarian class, all right, so it might be a dice rolling deck. Okay, I'll play this as a green source. And then we can either Binding or Cultivator. Don't need to take out Barbarian class just yet, so probably go for Cultivator. Put 
put an island in play. Curates to go digging for Delina, which is their combo piece. As long as the Barbarian class doesn't give their creatures haste, we're not too worried. Okay. So, Desert Doom seems fine. Even though Cultivator would have let me keep a Power Ward kill and ramp into Xenothar, so also would have had its merit here. Opponent passes. Yeah, we can attack. See if they maybe have a few burn spells to point at Desert Doom. Prismari commands plus Frostbite most likely. Don't have a divide by zero to punish it. And then now we'll go Cultivator, keep up black mana. And still have our removal spell available. And next turn we might play Xenathar. So both Barbarian class is still level 1. Prismari commands making a treasure and filtering through the deck. I could kill the Pixie Guides as well here, just to be mana efficient. It is also one of the combo pieces outside of Delina. And our opponent's not going to be able to give Delina haste and attack with it next turn. Which is when things start getting scary. Alright, opponent's able to give it Hexproof. Can still take it out in a variety of ways, but I think it's time for Xenathar. Can attack first. And that's gonna take over the game if they can't answer it right away. And our opponent explodes. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with an acceptable hand. Crime Session can get a 3 mana play. Or we can keep up Divide by 0. I guess we want to prioritize green and blue lands early on for Cultivator. Could get Introduction to Prophecy maybe. Sure. Although there's also a chance that Teachings works out. since we're on the play. So we have double blank if we need it. Yeah, wiping the board seems good enough. Although Cultivator and then Crippling Fear next turn is also reasonable. So needs to play a blue or green source. Our 
Rabbit Bites taking out Cultivators, acceptable. And there's Finn. Alright, so Crippling Fear. Gonna clean up nicely. Another Fang Blade and a Lightfoot Rogue. So now I'm kind of liking Cultivator, keep up divide by zero. can trade the fang blades and just take two. Don't really need to divide by zero yet. Although I might bounce at end of turn if they don't play anything scary. Apply blades, fine. And then a mascot exhibition seems fine here. Ram session gets another card draw effect. So we've got a nice mix of interaction in hand. And Desert Doom should close out the game for us nicely. I'll send the Spirit Token too. opponent trades. So if they top deck another rabbit bite, we can bounce the rogue in response. Opponent has to pay the ward 4. Make him do that first. And then we'll bounce. And uh, sure we'll get Annihilation and our opponent concedes. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Hands on the slow side. But we do have Shadow's Verdict to maybe catch us back up. And Cultivator to ramp into Zenithar. A red-black treasure with a reclusive painter. Flunk is a nice answer. Yeah, I'll keep up Flunk for now and see if it's really necessary. Deadly Disputes to draw two. Makes another treasure. Maybe they were missing their land drop. And a Devour Intellect to have a look. Alright. Opponent takes binding. So ramp into Zenithar is still an option. Get double blue. Against Red Black, I don't expect Zenithar to survive, so we might wait a bit on it. Although, of course, the opponent knows about Zenithar now. Turgrid's God of Frights. As a 6 7. Probably gonna send that packing with Divide by Zero before they do more damage. Could wait for them to maybe cast like a discard spell. I'm probably going to get a 3 mana card draw spell with Divide by Zero. So in that case I don't need to cast it right now. Unless I guess I want to hit for 3 with Cultivator, which I don't really care about too much. 
So we'll wait for them to maybe cast a discard spell or something that makes me sacrifice. And then I can divide on response. Of course, if they attack, I'll be forced to divide. So if they have a soul shatter now, I might get punished. And then either teachings or introduction. We'll go with teachings. Disciple. That works. Could discard Cultivator now. Keep Flunk as an answer for Turgrid and Verdict to clean up the small stuff. Another Painter. So I can still go Cultivator into Teachings and draw two at least. There's a bit of tension between the opponent trying to empty their hands, so teachings isn't effective, but they also need to keep cards in hand so Flunk can't kill their God of Fright. So that puts them in an awkward spot. Alright, fair enough. I guess they still were able to cast Frostbite to fizzle my draw too. And then runs out Turgrid's Lantern, which we can still pretty easily answer if we top deck a way to learn for Containment Breach or Binding the Old Gods. So as much as I want to play Xanathar, I think now is a good time for Verdict and start beating down with the Cultivators first. And then I could play this, although if they have another Devour Intellect I might regret it. So I'll hang on to my land. Yeah, there's a Devour Intellect, can have my land. Times two. Alright, so we're down to Xanathar. But the Cultivators are also doing a good job. I expect my opponent will still have an answer here. Maybe a Soul Shatter they kept in hand. But we tried our best. Okay, we might get to untap with Xanathar. I will lose three. And there we go. Swamp on top, they can keep. And uh, yeah, I guess if we kill Disciple, they're dead. Alright, so it wasn't a very long lasting tenure for Xenathar, but we did get to untap with him at least. On to the next one. All right, we're on the draw with a nice hand. Cram session to bridge the gap to our four drops, which ramp us into Professor Onyx. Opponent red green with a brushfire elemental. So an aggressive landfall deck. Soul Shatter, good draw. So I don't need to get environmental sciences necessarily. So I might go for either Introduction to Prophecy, Confront the Past, eventually get back Professor Onyx or Mascot Exhibition. I'll go with Confront the Past since we know we have Professor Onyx in hand already. And then my next couple turns are scripted, Soul Shatter into either a Cultivator or Binding. Do need an extra black source, so if we don't draw one, we can maybe count on Binding, finding a tapped Black Green Dual Land. Yes, I can Brushfire into Evolving Wilds. 
is stun damage. That's no joke. Did find our double black in the meantime. So cultivator should be fine next turn. Fast would search to ramp two. So Soul Shatter is gonna stem the bleeding a little bit. Still taking seven. I guess it is tempting to just binding the brush fire. Although then I'll be unable to play Professor Onyx on the following turn. So I think Cultivator's still better. Even though there is a sequence of plays that kills me here. Emergent sequence, so brush fire up to five. So I can go to one and maybe die to instant speeds, a ramp. Problem with jumping is that if I want to play Professor Onyx next turn, it's not going to be protected anymore. So the play might be jump with Cultivator and then Binding before playing Professor Onyx. But yeah, taking five seems a little too risky. Alright, Thirst is decent. So now I can answer both. And then Professor Onyx can hopefully take over. Frog Hemoth with haste could be scary. Okra Jelly has a 6-6. Six, six. Oof. And I don't have any XL based removal at the ready. I guess we can binding and then Power Ward kill. Or I can just Professor Onyx and be able to confront the past it back. If I can play Professor Onyx with a bit more protection, that would be preferred. Gotta hope uh, we're not dead here. But I'm plussing. Hmm. Is just as dark and musty as I remember. This is where finding cramp session is very useful. Although I can't cast it at the moment. Take cultivator. We're at five. Opponent is playing haste creatures, so can't feel too comfortable. Land first means no brush fire. Kicked vast would search. Okay, that's still survivable. Goes after Professor Onyx. And there's cramp session, perfect. All right, we should be stable now. Get a Baleful Mastery or Crippling Fear. Doesn't really matter. I guess Mastery is better because of the Ochre Jelly coming back. Let's go. Get Mascot Exhibition. 
And then I should still be able to cultivate her. Plus mastery. Although we can keep that one at instant speed. Yeah, I guess putting more counters on the jelly is pretty nice. So this would be the perfect spot to find Zenithar. Oak her jelly down, since it gets exiled it doesn't come back. And now we get to untap with a Planeswalker, which is always a good feeling. Let's see if we can find Xenathar. There he is. I don't know if we have any basics left, we don't. And then I could hit for three, probably safe enough here. And we might finally untap with Xenathar to see it in action. And our opponent explodes. Yeah, I guess that's kind of the problem. If you do untap with Xenathar, the game's usually over, so don't get to play much with it. But uh, yeah, we got to see our Sultai Trade Binder deck in action. As the name implies, there's a lot of ways you can build a Sultai mid-range control deck in uh, 2022 standard. You can potentially include more counter spells, maybe shift the mana base more towards blue. You can add more sweepers, fewer sweepers, more spot removal, more threats, fewer threats. So. There's a lot of options available for sure. This is just uh, my first take on it. But that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.